Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to unbox another Sophie and Toffee pixie box. To be totally honest, I absolutely forgot I recorded this video and forgot to edit it and publish it. So this box is quite a bit late. But the first thing we see is this cute little card and then we see all the items we get inside. And the first item we get is this pink ribbon, which has this middle part, but since it has no side support, I suspect it will just slip off the side once you take it out of the packaging. I'm super excited that we actually get a sorting box, because I need them all the time for all the bits and pieces that come in the Sophie and Toffee Pixie boxes. So I'm really happy about that item. And we also get this really pretty pink and turquoise glitter. Our first mold is actually the one I'm most excited about. This is a jar mold and it actually comes with cork so that you can plug it shut when you pour your glass. So that is a really cool functional decoration item. Our next mold is this kind of shaker TV mold. And then we get all of these kitchenware items in this super cute mold and some of them come up faces and they just look super adorable. And the last mold we get is actually a 3 for one you could say. And it has some guitar picks, some with designs, some without them. And I guess they're just necklace or accessory guitar picks and not really functional. And on the other side we actually have guitars. So we have four guitars that you can just use as keychains or the like and one guitar that comes in two parts or I guess it's just the guitar body that you can make into a shaker. We also get these really cute nail stickers and I guess they meant to spell bloom. I don't know where the second M comes from but you know, maybe you want a varying size. And we also get these really cute embeds and these are mostly butterflies and they are so pretty. They have really vibrant colors and kind of like a watercolor effect. And we also get these half open bezels, backed bezels. You know, you can fill the top of them with UV resin and they're in the shape of notes. And we also get some supplies, so hooks and jump rings. And these. These are normally for holding thread from a jacket or a backpack, so I don't know why they included this. I guess you can decorate stuff with them. But I can't really see uh, why or how I would use them. We also get some little pre-made jars and these come in four different colors. So we have a light pink, pink, yellow and a bluish turquoise color. And they have glitter in the color part and the top part is clear. So it looks like they're actually filled and they're super, super cute. We also get a pigment and this time it's actually an alcohol ink bottle in black. And we get some key rings and these are the round type hook ones, which I really like because I think they look great and I think they are actually holding pretty well also. And the last item we have is this clear shaker foam. Now if you have a look inside the item sheet. We can see all of the items that are supposed to be in the box. And I really like that they also display 
an example of how they would push stuff like for the TV with the pink and blue and such and I think that's a great idea to give people an example of what you can actually make with this. Also I love what I did with the guitar stuff with the flowers and such and with the silicon uh, jar mold that they made an example with the butterflies and stuff. I know that they showed that example on their Instagram, so I like that they also included that in their booklet. Now that we unboxed everything, let's actually start making something. For this project I'm mostly using Sof Intoffee's 1 to 1 ratio epoxy resin and I'm mixing this light blue, this like tealish blue green and black and what I'm basically doing is alternating between the three of them and clear and pouring it inside this jar mold. While the jar is curing, I decided to also make these tiny kitchenware items. I guess you could actually use the plate, maybe the cutlery and the candlestick as actual miniature things for, for your miniature dollhouses and stuff or scenery. But the other items, since they're flat and the angles they chose to present them in are kind of half top down they probably wouldn't really work but i think they're really cute decoration so i basically decided to just make a lot of them and put them into charms as a keyring decoration you could say To make the charm I decided to just use one of the guitar pick molds. They are perfect just to make into like necklace pieces and stuff so they also work with just these kitchenware items. And then basically putting a thin layer of UV resin down and then putting my cured pieces of kitchenware inside and just pushing it around until I'm happy with how it looks and how it fits. And I also made a second one with the rest of the kitchenware items. And all I do after finishing placing these is just curing the first layer where they're inside and then just adding the rest of my UV resin on top to completely fill this mold. The guitar picks were super easy to mold and they look so cute, I'm a huge fan of them. Now I chose just white because I like the look of just white in this clear resin, but I guess you know for the cutlery and stuff you could also choose like metal tones and stuff that will fit them better. This white does mean though that the contrast of the detail of the stuff is kind of not really seeable since it basically blends in with this all white but I'm really fine with that I think they look absolutely cute. Unmolding the jar was a different story. I basically carefully turned this whole mold around and it took me several minutes to just get the outside off and then I carefully pulled out the inside and got this jar. 
and it looks super beautiful in my opinion. The colors fell down just as I wanted them to and they have this like fog-like appearance with the black and I think it, it looks so great and it's definitely a great usable display piece. I'm super happy with this. But I'm actually not done with this yet. I thought it would look kind of plain so I decided to give it some decorations and I'm starting off by placing one of the little nail sticker flowers inside of this note and just filling it up with some UV resin. And this I'm going to attach with a pink ribbon to this jar. And now I'm satisfied with how it looks. And I'm actually using it already to store some stuff inside. I was really happy with the month's pixie box and I think it was a good box also. I think the kitchenware definitely speaks home sweet home. I guess the guitars do too and the guitar picks but maybe they could have inserted like tiny jar molds or bottle molds and stuff. I know Sophie and Toffee has them. Or also added like a trinket dish mold, like a simple one. Because I think that would have spoken more home sweet home to me and I actually like usable items more and when I think about home sweet home I think about items that you can use inside of your home and that are actually usable and decoration so I would have preferred that. But other than not fitting to the theme I think the guitar modes are actually great so I'm really happy I got them. I also really like all of the accessories they included. Still not too sure about the button push type things for like closing threaded items and stuff. I guess you can make pouches and stuff with them, but I really don't see the point inside of this box. But I guess, you know, some people might be cr more creative than I am and actually find a way to use them. But as I said, in conclusion, I'm so happy about this box and about this jar mold and the possibilities that I have to make them. And that I actually included like a cork lid thing to close them. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you personally thought of this box and if you actually got it and what items you like out of this box the most. I hope you're having a great day. Bye!